I have a few scrap wood pieces here. The smaller ones are about three and a half by four and the larger one is about three and a half by six. And I'm also gonna be using some of these printables that I got online. I printed them out on rice paper and these are from that same bundle that I used on my previous tutorial. And then I found this cross that I also want to layer in. And I'm gonna put all this together to make a cute rustic wood block set for Easter. So the first thing I'm doing is cutting those designs apart and then I'm going to use my paintbrush dipped in water to go around the edges of that design to give it a more feathered, torn appearance versus just a straight cut line. And that's also going to make it easier to blend into my wood piece. And the trick here is just to kind of keep your line close to that edge but not let it spread into the color of your design. So don't use too much water or let it sit for too long before you tear it. I went ahead and repeated that process for all of the designs and for that wreath I took the words out of the middle because I am going to be putting that cross somewhere in there. But before I glue on my pieces I want to use some distressing ink to go through and really just give my blocks a little bit more interest and dimension. So I'm going to start with the lighter color, um, the walnut stain, and go over all of the edges and sides with that. Then I'm going to make sure it's really dry before I start the second color which is the ground espresso. It's just a darker color and so that's just going to give it some nice shading and lines and give it a little bit of interest. Then I'm going to take my mini sand and work on blending that in a little. And then the next step is to start applying the Mod Podge. Now if your ink is not completely dry or maybe in some of the heavier places that glue could reactivate that ink and kind of pull it around. So just be mindful of that. You may want to use two different brushes. You definitely don't want to drag that ink across your printable. Once my glue dries, then I'm going to use my mini sander to go ahead and feather those edges and start blending them in. So I'm just kind of scraping where the edges meet the wood and um, also kind of over the top of the design. Any places where I want the paper to be a little thinner, especially some of the white places. And even if the wood shows through, um, like my little chick here a little bit, that's okay because I really like the rustic look of it. And I'm just kind of working it here to make it blend into the wood a little bit better, not just kind of a piece of paper glued on top. Once I have that the way I like it, I'm going to add another layer of Mod Podge on top. Again, be careful not to let that ink spread any more than you want it to. A little is okay sometimes, in my opinion. <laughs> and then I'm going to use my heat gun to really let that dry and let that ink set good. Now that that's all dry, I can use my blending brush to work and it's going to really spread across that glue a little bit easier than if I had just done it on the plain paper. That's why I apply the glue and then I blend the ink. So I'm just going around those edges and blending it in a little bit better and then actually using the pad on the wood to also create some shadow and depth and dimension there. And then if you want, you can take a sanding block and work on that wood just a little bit more to blend it all in. And here's how it turned out. It's kind of hard to show exactly what it looks like with the glare of the lights on that glue, but I also did the same thing with my rabbit. And if you want yours a little brighter, you can always paint some white paint behind it. Now I'm going to use this taller piece of wood to work on my cross piece. I'm just kind of laying it out and seeing how I want to layer it all together. I'm going to kind of put the bigger part of the wreath at the bottom of the cross and then that top piece I tore apart and I'm going to put it at the top kind of on the opposite side. So I'm just getting my layer of Mod Podge down here and then I'm going to start putting my pieces on. And I chose to put the cross kind of on the top of this piece and then for that bottom piece I'm going to put it on top of the cross towards the bottom and then try to just blend it all in. And then here I'm just adding a little extra glue to some parts that were layered on top of each other to make sure that they're nice and secure and then I'm kind of tapping it with that brush. Next I'm going to repeat that same process with my little sander, working those edges, just kind of feathering them in, scraping away some of the parts of the paper that I don't really need, um, and really just trying to thin it out. Once I get that all finished, then I'm going to add that layer of Mod Podge on the top to seal it in. And then I can also start um, working on blending my ink around those edges. 
And I've said this before, but it's just really about adding those layers, just those extra little elements, those layers of dimension to kind of hide some of those edges and flaws. And then I'm going to heat set that in really well. And here's how my cross finished out. And I really just love it. This really reminds me of some of those um, church kind of VBS craft projects, I think. But here's all three. Um, sorry about that glare, but I'm going to show you just in a minute how they look staged. So you can see here um, how these edges just really feather in and you can see the design, but it also blends into that wood. And I know it may be a little dark for some people's taste, but that's just kind of my style. Um, you can definitely brighten them up if you want to paint it white first and then apply your designs. Thanks so much for watching and have a blessed Easter season.